In this video, I will show you how to download and install Google Chrome browser on your Sony Bravia TV. Now, over here, I have the Sony Bravia Google TV, but it doesn't really matter the type of Sony Smart TV you have, whether you have the Sony Bravia Google TV just like this one or the Sony Bravia Android TV. By the end of this video, you should be able to download, install and use the Google Chrome browser on any Sony Bravia TV you have. Now, first things first, to download and install the Google Chrome browser, you have to make sure that your Sony Bravia TV is actually connected to the internet. So, if you scroll over to the top of my Sony TV and then just come over to the Wi-Fi settings, you can literally see that it is actually connected to my phone hotspot. So, go ahead and make sure that your Sony Bravia TV is actually connected to a hotspot or a Wi-Fi network. Just make sure it is connected to the internet. Now, once that is done, you want to go ahead and open up the Google Play Store or App Store of your Sony Bravia TV. So, in my case, I'll just go over to the App section over here. In the case of the Sony Bravia Android TV, once you come over to the App section of your Sony Bravia Android TV, you're going to see the Google Play Store app. Just go ahead and find it and then open it up but if you're using the sony bravia google tv just like this one what you want to do is to come over to the app section then scroll down to this search in page field over here click on it and then from the google play store you want to go ahead and search for the app known as downloader it's a very popular app and basically we are going to be using it to sideload the google chrome browser into our sony bravia tv once you're done typing downloader just go ahead and click on this search icon over here and automatically your sony bravia tv is going to search for the downloader app from the google play store and then give you some of the results over here basically what you want to do is to go ahead and download this downloader app by AFTV news so go ahead and select it and then you want to make sure you actually download and install this downloader app by AFTV news into your sony bravia tv as you can see mine is already downloaded and installed so i'll just go ahead and open it up directly from here now go ahead and click on the allow button and then click on ok and once you get to the home page of your downloader app basically what you want to do is to head over to this input field over here on the home page of the downloader app so go ahead and click on the ok button to enter the input field now you want to go ahead and type the following url inside of this input field on your downloader app so you want to go ahead and type bit.ly forward slash c c c c c in five places then tv so basically you want to go ahead and type the following url bit.ly forward slash cccc in five places then tv just as it is over here on my screen now once you're done you just want to scroll down and click on the enter button over here now automatically you will be redirected to the page where you can actually download and install the google chrome browser apk into your sony bravia tv now what you just want to do is to scroll down just like so and then go ahead and click on the download button over here so just go ahead and click on it here now automatically the google chrome browser apk will start downloading into our sony bravia tv now, now once it is done downloading it will automatically start the installation process and at this point once you get this pop-up asking you to give downloader permission to install app from unknown sources into your sony bravia tv basically what you want to do is to go ahead and click on settings just like so now you just want to scroll down and then click on downloader to enable this permission for the downloader app now go back to the previous menu and then click on install now if you run into any error like the app not installed just as it is shown over here basically what you want to do is to exit this page and then you just want to go ahead and try downloading other versions of the google chrome browser that are over here on the tv so just go ahead and try any other version if the first version does not work out for you in my own case the last apk download button actually worked for me so i just finished installing it just now so i'll just go ahead and click on the open button to now open up the google chrome browser now at this point one thing you have to note is that because this google chrome browser is not natively built to run on tvs you may not be able to control it with your sony bravia tv remote control if you want to be able to control and quickly navigate through this google chrome browser i strongly recommend that you go ahead and connect a mouse to your tv you can go ahead and use a wired mouse or a wireless mouse just go ahead and connect it to any of the usb ports on your sony bravia smart tv and trust me you should be able to properly navigate through this browser without any issue i'll go ahead and connect mine so you see how it works with the tv so i have just connected my mouse to the tv and i'm just going to go ahead and try controlling the um, google chrome browser and you can see it works absolutely well so i can go ahead and choose my account and then just click on continue at the bottom over here then click on got it and 
just like so we now have the google chrome browser on our sony bravia tv now finally if you come over to the home of your sony bravia tv you will notice that the google chrome browser is not anywhere on the home page of the sony bravia tv if you want to be able to open up this app basically you want to come over to the settings of the tv and then from the settings of the tv you just want to scroll over to apps just like so and then click on see all apps and now from here once you scroll down you should be able to find the google chrome browser we just installed from this list of apps over here on your sony bravia tv you can literally see mine so it is over here so whenever i want to open it i'll just come over here and then click on open to use the browser if you find this video useful please make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one